But I find it really bizarre that if you organise a conference on Europe, there is Europe fatigue. Europe is seen as boring, uh, it's another conference on Europe. But it's hard to think of at a time when Europe's been doing more controversial things. Dahlendorf, for me personally, was one of my most important mentors. So he was very influential when we developed both the mission and the strategy of the foundation. When we thought about how to preserve his legacy, we were thinking about his biggest academic achievements also. And one, certainly the LSE was the focal point in his academic career. So we asked the LSE and later the Hertie School to do together with us a series of symposia and thinking about the issues that were interesting for Dahlendorf himself. The Hertie School and the LSE have been cooperating for uh, a number of years. Uh, so it was just a matter of time before the idea of a joint symposium came about. Dahlendorfian approach um, is taking a social science perspective and apply it to an existing problem, a social problem, political problem, and do, and do so with the results that, uh, in a way, communicate the results to, to the outside world. So don't just be the academic in the ivory tower. Reach out, engage, and that's what Dahlendorf said uh, at one point, he said that intellectuals and social scientists in particular have almost a moral obligation to tackle those issues that are most critical in the day. I, I think the, the, the social sciences have to, in a way, prove their relevance to the world. And uh, one way in which we prove the relevance is to have academics who are not, not afraid to be of this world and to, to engage the world. So that's a, an excellent starting point for the Dahlendorf Symposium, to do academic research, excellent academic research, which has a clear political agenda and really wants to make an, an impact on changing the debate on Europe. Once politicians uh, find out that they can learn useful things from academia, they will listen. Lord Dahlendorf, he, it was he who pointed us in many ways to looking at the productive elements of conflict, that they allow a certain dynamism. What matters is how, uh, in a sense, they're managed and how, how, they're, how they take things forward and how they're bounded. So conflict is not to be seen in a negative way and conflict is also something that is not something that you should avoid. It's important that we learn how to manage conflict and the old European Union system that we now see being transformed into something new, that old system was also a product of previous conflicts. It did not come about out of everybody's goodness of heart, but it came about because we were, we knew that we needed a way to, to manage the conflict among European economies at that time and then it became broader. Politics is about bringing strangers together to resolve things where there is deep difference and disagreement. There's always a space for disagreement to accept that there will be winners and losers and to offer the possibility of those that are losers that have not got their way with a policy one day to become winners. Because if we say at the, day, at the end of the day that Europe is all about common solutions and shared values, what are we saying about those people that do not form part of that? We are saying that they not just count for nothing but are nothing. And that strikes me as deeply totalitarian. And I wouldn't want a Europe like that. And that's why I argue for a Europe of conflict. So the system we have today was set up to manage the conflicts of the past. And what we now need to search for, and that's one reason why we call this symposium changing the debate on Europe, is to see, yes, we may have difficulties, we may have problems, we may have challenges with the European project at the moment. But we need to fix it. Right? We need to understand that we have new problems in Europe that um, are not the old problems but, and we need new institutions to deal with the new problems the way we developed the European Union as an institution to deal with problems of the, of, of the past. If you look at the history of Europe, the integration of Europe was a big success story and I truly believe that we will have different phases again and we will reinvent Europe and find a new way to strengthening the European Union. What we want to prove in November 
is that it is possible for a group of academics to come together and engage over several months in a active thought process that then leads to something new, to new ideas, to new approaches being, being talked about. And if we can continue pushing f these ideas over the next months and years ahead, I think something will come out of it. And that's what uh, the hope is, it brings us together there.